Yo, what's up guys? I am here today with the biggest old school RuneScape bank video of all time. Um, I did start this bank back in about March 5th with about 500 mil. Today is now August 14th, where as you guys can see by the title, we're now at 800 bill. And before I go into this, I do want to showcase that I am in, you know, I'm not playing any private server. I am on old school RuneScape, you know, right click a bunch of people. You guys can look them up on the high score. I'm in world 330. I do want to mention guys, I am giving away a third age pickaxe to one person who likes the comments on this YouTube video. Join the Discord below. I'm going to start it in there. And yeah, so hopefully um, when you guys win that, you know, good luck to that. Good luck to you guys. And yeah, I'm here with my boy Lance too. Yo, what's up? And we're just going to go over some items for you guys um, and take, give everybody a look at the 800 bill in the bank. Again, guys. I do want to say that um, I d actually have not bought any of these items. I've actually never purchased any. Actually, these storage pickaxes besides that. Majority I did win, though, to be fair. Um, but every single item that you guys see here, minus maybe one Tebow, I have actually won do through deathmatching. Completely through deathmatching. Um, so we got 44 Torva sets. Pretty insane. Definitely going to sell a lot of those. They go for about 1.1 bill a piece. 44, I mean, you know, roughly almost 50 bill right there. 48 Inquisitor sets do a lot of Inquisitor death matches with the Void Waker. Same with the Torva. Seven Tumican Shadows won all those um, just through death matching. You know, it was it was at stake. Uh, we got th these are my favorite. These are my absolute favorite. Third Age Druidic top and bottom these sets. So I did a little research on this, and it looks like to get one of these sets from a Master Clue casket, it is about one in 313,000. Absolutely ridiculous. Same with the third age pickaxe. Um, let's. Is there any reason as to why the third age pickaxe is so much more though? Because third age pickaxe. I really think. I think it's just the flex. Like, I mean, now you got like blood torva. You know, like regular torva. It's just like armor to replace the druidic. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the pickaxe is like the ultimate flex. I think like just the niche item. Yeah, that makes sense. So like, uh, everyone I've... wants to show off their wealth. Exactly. Exactly. One of those things. I mean, uh, and that's why we got 15. I'm. I'm just trying to. I'm investing. Um, I started buying these like 5.5 bill. They're going for 7 bill right now. 7 bill. So as you guys can see, Runelite actually does value it at max cash. So when I take these out, it go the bank value goes down to seven, 672 bill. But, you know, there's 15 pickaxes here times 7 bill a piece. That is about 105 bill. That is 105 bill. So add 105 bill over to the top here. 777 bill is the bank value. 7 bill, in, uh, 7 bill a piece. Absolutely insane. You know, I'm going to keep on holding these until... You know, hopefully they hit 10 bill one day. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, but to continue on, we got four third age druidic cloaks, 27 twisted bows. Show you guys those are real, you know, abs absolutely crazy. Um, these twisted bows are, you know, the top item at Chambers of Zarek. Got 27 of those. Don't know if I'll keep them all, you know, but they look nice in the bank for now. 120,000 purple sweets, won those through a DM. Virtus, this item I am very happy they brought back into RuneScape. Lance, what do you think about Virtus, man? What do you think about Virtus? I'm sad that it sucks, but you know what? It's good to see. It's good to I, see back in the game. I think it's perfect for PvP as it is, not as good as uh, Ancestral, better than Aram's, and it's good DPS. You know, I'm a, I, I, I've been playing RuneScape since 2007. Um, Virtus is, it, it's great. It's great. Absolutely great. I'm a big fan of PvP. Uh, 119 Void Wakers. I use a lot of Void Wakers for my death matching. My favorite type of death matching is Void Wakers. Um, best odds, you know, when, when, when you're death matching in a no arm or the use of Void Waker in almost any sort of fight, it is very important that you or your opponent, you know, you're, you and your opponent are always going for first hit because that is the upper, upper, uh, upper hand right there, giving you the advantage. So I'm a big fan of that. I do a lot of Claw Elder death matches, a lot of AGS death matches, DDS, whatnot, anything with no armor, um, where me and my opponent can fight for first hit and whoever can outskill the other, outplay the other, will get the advantage. So yeah, that's why we got like a lot of those items right there. We got three Zerai crossbows, 10 million of all these runes. Again, one all those. Pretty amazing. I was gonna buy these for a bank video, anyways. Glad, to, <laughs> glad to have won those. I purchased 180 mil flax. Actually, I did not win these, so let me uh, let me go back on that. Did not win these. Did purchase them for 200 mil though. Thought that was a great deal. Apparently, they go for like a bill now. Got three Ellies. Uh, kind of low. I kind of want to get that stack up a little bit. Best shield in the game. And then the big 510 bill plat stack. Absolutely insane. Given the overall total value of 777. Bill. So, you know, I do get asked a lot of questions. What's the plan with all this? Um, you know, there's it's no secret. There's a black market for RuneScape gold. Uh, you know, I'm a, I stream on Twitch. I get a lot of questions. <laughs> People constantly bring up the value of this, this gold. And in the black market, yes, you know, you will get banned. I don't advise uh, you anybody participate in this stuff. But it is worth about roughly 150,000 USD. Which, 
bro, I, that, that's that's crazy money that could buy you a pretty nice house in Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you wanted, if you were to buy this in a legal way through a RuneScape bonds, where you actually can buy completely legal, just go to buy bond pouch, buy bonds. Yeah, just like that. Click buy bonds, and as you guys can see, this is legal RWT basically. Buy an old school bond, eight mil. Basically, come and uh, one bond is. $8 USD. So basically comes out to $1 per mil. It would cost the it would cost a player $780,000 to buy this much gold without getting banned. That's kind of crazy Lance because think about it. The average That's person like, in the US so, makes yeah. um what 140,000 a year. I think around that, if they work a 9 to 5, like a yeah. decent 9 to 5, yeah, yeah, I think it's about average. Yeah, meaning it would take roughly five years on average to come up with this sort of money and, you know, investing it all into RuneScape. That's, that's absolutely insane. Um... Jeez. Yeah, absolutely crazy. And um, you know, I also wanted to I also wanted to talk about this. If you were to play, you know, no death matching, no staking, none of that, you know, the dual ring is removed, death matching is probably going to get removed. If you were to play the game normally PVM, the best money making method is solo TOA, which comes out to 17 mil an hour at the very top level PVM, 500. That's at level 500. 500. Yeah, so yeah. And that's that like that's like very few people even in that scene even do that now you know because it's like it's just hard yeah oh. very top level pbm and 17 mil an hour is what it comes out to um i did the math on this it comes out to 45,823 hours it would take that many hours to come up with this much money on old school runescape which is the equivalent to 1909 days played absolutely ridiculous um you get your head around that yeah. that's getting that's getting 200 mil all with the efficient hours played, which is about 18,000 hours, three times, like three and a half times over. Insane. all in every single skill. Like, crazy. That, yeah. Um, you know, a lot of time, a lot of money. You know, I get asked a lot if I plan on selling the gold or what. No, it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Not going to happen. I'm a big fan of PV PvP, like I said. So I'm going to keep using this money to provide content for PvP, help other PvP streamers out. I mean, you know, any streamer, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll uh, help them out if they need it, if you need gold, you know what I'm saying? Um, big giveaways for sure giveaways back to the community and you know like the money's not getting sold it's, it's gonna stay here you guys will always see it on the streams hypothetically if like say mark Wahlberg were to offer me even half of facebook i would politely decline you know it's not worth getting banned it's not worth going against runescape tos and whatnot um i've been playing this game since actually like i've been playing the runescape since 2007 so like this is pretty fucking insane to me as well i've been playing this game since i was a little kid i've been around for like watching chris archie spark mac all those big guys um yeah, like, uh, this is cool cool for me, you know? Like, let's take a second here. Imagine, like, it's 2010 again, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I just sent right. you this, I just sent, you're Chris Archie, and I just sent you this bank video. Like, right. you, know, you know, give us a, you know, bing, take us bing, back, bing. take us back. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> this guy. So, BTCs were doing a bank video with 510 mil just in platinum tokens. Holy fucking shit. This Share it beed. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. All right, pretend I sent it to Spark bing, Mac, Spark Mac, Spark Mac. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Spark <laughs> Mac Live. Let's dive right into BTC's bank. Oh my God! 510 mil platinum tokens. Holy shit. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Little Willis, it's all right. Let's speed it up to 2023. I just sent it to Behemoth. Bikers, okay. BTC's <laughs> 510 mil platinum tokens. That's right, he acquired it all through deathmatching. Completely legit. That could buy him a car manufactured by Elon Musk himself called the Tesla Model 3. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Great impressions, great impressions. Um, Thanks, man. And yeah, guys, that's, 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 that's it, man. That's it. That's the 800 bill crate. Like, if you guys know anybody with, you know, a bank this size, I would love to see it. Um, not like in like some ego way. I just, I've just never seen anybody, you know, with like 300 bill or more. So, you know, I do get a lot of people always saying like, this is not the most, whatever. Um, actually, not a lot of people, just like here and there. But I will actually, I'll be curious. I mean, I'm curious to see if like, if anybody actually does have more and let me know. And yeah, that's 800 bill on old school RuneScape. Going for the one trill. I stream everything on twitch.tv slash BTCs. You guys can catch me there. I'm still gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm 200 bill, 220 bill away from the one, the big one trill. We're gonna go for that, set a world record and achieve something crazy. So I appreciate you guys all for watching this. Thank you guys. And I will catch you guys later.